new 2018 Jaguar I-Pace, all the details on Jaguar's electric SUV and fresh pictures. Jaguar's I-Pace SUV concept previews an all-electric SUV due to go on sale in 2018. A new red concept will appear at Geneva next week. Jaguar has revealed that its headline grabber from last year's La Motor Show the all-electric I-Pace SUV concept will be heading to the Geneva Motor Show next week, sporting a colorful new red paint job. It'll mark a European debut for the new electric car from the British mark, which will eventually morph into a production model due on sale in the UK in 2018. While we won't see the car in production form until the end of 2017, it's not expected to change far beyond the car we see here, and the iPACE name will stick around. The basic power and performance figures should remain largely unchanged too, and Jaguar has hinted that it'll cost around 10 to 15% more than an equivalent version of its F-Pace SUV, so expect a starting price around the £55,000 mark. Jaguar is taking details from interested customers right now, before the production model has surfaced. Jaguar I-Pace Performance, 395 bhp and 300 mile range. Jaguar claims that the I-Pace will have at least 300 miles of range on a single charge and it'll be able to dash to 62 miles per hour from standstill in around 4 seconds. A 90kWh lithium-ion battery sits between the axles, driving two rare earth magnetic electric motors for a total power output of 395 bhp and 700 nm of torque. The I-Pace features an all-new aluminium platform, and the compact size of the electric motors each one has an outer diameter of 234 mm and a length of 500 mm allow plenty of space in the cabin. Much of the car's hardware is derived from the F-Pace SUV, including the double wishbone front suspension and the compact integral link rear suspension. The lithium-ion batteries have been developed in-house and use pouch cells for their energy density and efficiency. They'll give 80 percenter charge Indiana 90 minutes and 100 percenter in just over 2 hours from a 50 kilowatts DC charging point, and they sit low in the car to give the car a center of gravity that's 120 millimeters lower than the F-Pace. Weight is an issue the I-Pace is expected to weigh around 2,100 kilograms but straight line performance won't be and Jaguar promises that the car will handle as a Jaguar should. Jaguar I-Pace dimensions and boot space. So although the car is marginally smaller than the F-Pace, around 50 millimeters shorter, 90 millimeters lower and 40 millimeters narrower, its wheelbase is 115 millimeters longer meaning there's more room inside. In fact, Jaguar says it's got 10 millimeters more near room than a BMW 7 Series. The 530-liter boot is 120 liters smaller than the F-Pace's, while there's an additional 28 liters of space under the bonnet. However, clever use of the interior's flat floor means there's also space for 8 liters of storage between the front seats. Jaguar I-Pace, Design The new car's architecture, doing without the need to put an internal combustion engine at the front with all the associated bits, means Jaguar's design director Ian Callum and his team have been able to produce a stunning and innovative design with hints of 2010 SCX75 concept. Designers have been looking forward to electric cars for a long time, Ian Callum told us. They give you permission to do things that you can't do when you have an internal combustion engine. We started off with a skateboard-like platform that enabled us to bring the cab forward in spite of it being an SUV. The wheelbase was decided by the number and size of the batteries that we needed to fit in between the axles. The cab forward design has enabled Callum to give the I-Pace strong haunches at the front of the car like the CX-75, with a distinct dip in the bonnet line. There's also a bonnet scoop towards the back to reduce drag. In spite of the low front and short overhang, there's a bold front grille framed by slim lights like on the F-Pace. It's important we establish the front as a Jaguar, says Callum. The headlights of today's style have double J-blades that's something we'll see more and more on Jaguars. Sweeping lines along the side and tapering waistline give the five-door SUV a coupe-like profile, 
leading to a sharply angled rear screen coated with a hydrophobic coating so there's no need for a rear wiper. Rear vents sit where tailpipes would usually be, but channel air from the rear wheel arches to reduce drag. LED tail lights follow the design theme established on the F-Type sports car, XE, and XF models, but are squared off for a more technical look. We're relatively high at the back with quite square edges for optimum aerodynamics, said Callum. And sure enough, the I-Pace has an impressively low drag coefficient for an SUV of 0.29. Jaguar I-Pace technology and interior. In spite of the temptations created by the electrical architecture, Callum says that you still have to have familiar hardware inside the car. But around the traditional driving position are three screens, a 12-inch HD screen to display instruments, another 12-inch touch screen on the floating center console and a smaller 5.5-inch touch screen below. There are even tiny screens in the rotary controllers that sit further down that center control module. There are plenty of delightful design details inside the I-Pace, with Jaguar's bespoke lozenge pattern on everything from the leather seats to the speaker grills, while laser etched into the burr walnut dash are the words lovingly crafted by Jaguar. EST Coventry 1935 There's also a British sense of humor to the Jaguar paw prints stitched into the seats, and the glove outline on the base of the glove box. With Jaguar's I-Type racing car contesting the season's Formula E championship, the brand's electric future is becoming clearer especially with the promise of more hybrid and electric vehicles to follow the I-Pace to market in the coming years.